Inside Tennis with the Cause is brought to you by Firkins Automotive. Find it at Firkins and by Lakewood Ranch, named the fourth best-selling community in America. And by Nature's Right, natural products that work. Hi, tennis fans. The Cause here with another half hour inside the world of tennis. Stay tuned. We'll be right back after a word from our sponsors. Firkins.com, your one-stop shop for all of your automotive needs. Log on to Firkins.com today and shop over 1,000 available new vehicles. Nissans, Chryslers, Jeeps, Dodges, Rams, and Mitsubishis. Plus, shop over 500 quality pre-owned vehicles. At Firkins.com, you can apply for financing, check out our latest specials, you can even schedule a service appointment, all from the comfort of your home. Why would you shop anywhere else? Firkins.com, log on now. We believe in families, in barbecues on Sunday afternoons, in PTA meetings and staying up late helping with homework. We believe in lifelong friends, in knowing your neighbors, in passing down traditions through generations, in having a place you want to call home. In Lakewood Ranch, we believe in community, where we love to live and laugh. This is our town. This is our common ground. You know how important it is to warm up and stretch out your muscles before you begin running, jumping, and swinging a racket. Well, muscle honey is a blend of herbs designed to increase the blood flow, lymphatic flow, and flexibility of muscles so that you smoothly transition into activity. What's more, it contains pain-relieving herbs to help you push through boundaries and herbs to keep you from cramping up during periods of high output. It's not greasy or smelly, and if you rub it on all over, your muscles will be supple and pain-free for hours. Now that's a competitive edge. Hi, I'm Whitney Osigwe, and you're Inside Tennis with The Cause. Hi, tennis fans. Terrific as always to be with you. For those celebrating seasonal holidays, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, and Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to all. Wow, what great tennis happenings here on the Sun Coast and within the Sunshine State. It was terrific to see some of the world's best juniors at the 32nd Annual Eddie Her International Championships at IMG. Had a tremendous time at PGA National in Palm Beach Gardens with America's sweetheart of tennis, 18 slam singles champion, Chris Everett, wonderful to spend some time at another National Senior Tennis event on the Sun Coast with the Longboat Key Senior Clay Court Championships at Longboat Key Tennis Center. Fantastic to catch up with avid tennis player, General Ann Dunwoody, America's first four-star woman general for her book signing of a higher standard during the co-USPTA conference and USDA Next Generation Workshop in Orlando. Oh, wow, another congratulations to Bradenton's IMG player, 15-year-old Whitney Osugwi, winning the Orange Bowl Girls 18 singles and finishing as the International Tennis Association number one ranked player in the world. And a very major hats off to Bradenton's 16-year-old Tyler Zink, reaching the Orange Bowl Boys, 18 singles and doubles. Way to go, Thai guy. We are all very proud of you. It's official. Laurel Oak Country Club will be hosting the 2018 Elizabeth Moore Sarasota Open men's event. Tony Driscoll again will be staging one of the top premier stops on the USTA Pro Circuit. So what's on the show today? Well, we have another great one for you. We will take you to the Eddie Herr International Tennis Junior Championships. You will witness longtime family love of the game at the USDA National Senior Father and Son Clay Court Championships at the Landings. We will see some of the fast-paced action with Paul Letterman's Top Gun Men's Training Session. We will educate you with our Lakewood Ranch Tennis Pro Tip. You will participate in the excitement of the Lakewood Ranch Tennis Package Giveaway Drawing. We will keep you current 
with our Place Arizona Magazine tennis calendar. So let's get it launched with the Eddie Herr International Championships. Well, Nick, another exciting 10 days here at the IMG Academy. What a great event with Eddie Herr. What do you like about this tournament? This is part of your blood. I like this tournament because it's on one site. IMG provides safety for the children, great venue for the adults, and coaches that have several students don't have to go to different venues. So it's a safe heaven and IMG does a super job along with the staff and the referees, and this tournament is special and always will be. You were here for the last 10 days, two weeks almost. Starting from 12s up, who was standing out in your vision of is going to make it on the pros? There's a lot of talent out here. So many things have to go right for a player to turn out to be uh, a champion at the next level. We had five uh, Eddie Hur champions out of the eight possible, so I would say that's an excellent showing for the United States. And them being from age divisions from 12 to 18 is also you know, an excellent sign. So it, it's been a, a great tournament for U.S. tennis, for sure. Brenda, how excited are you and how exciting is this for your country to win this event here at the Eddie Her Internationals? Uh, I'm so excited and I can't believe I win. So. We will look forward to following this one's career. Thank you very much. June 10, what does winning this Eddie Her 12s mean to you? I think I can prove my practice. I practice like really good. I prepare for the tournaments. And that's it. It's my biggest win of the year and I'm really happy and it was an amazing match and an amazing tournament overall. And I'm just like I'm so happy I'm like speechless. <laughs> Tell us how happy you are for you and for your country. Just, I'm very happy, yeah, for my country too. Well, congratulations today, great victory, but multiple congratulations for yesterday. How many match points were you down and you came back? Uh, I think it, it was either four or five in the third set, yeah. You have to keep fighting no matter what, like anything can change the match. It could be one point, it could be one game, it could be anything, a bad call, so just know that you can, like, you can do it. How much American pride was on that court today with two American girls in the finals? What does that mean to you? Yeah, I'm, I'm friends with Kaylee. She played a great match, and I know she's had a great tournament, and I'm really proud of her. And it was just really nice knowing that for 16s, like an American was gonna win it. So, yeah. <laughs> what do you enjoy most walking away with the W from that one? Didn't come easily. No, it sure didn't come easy. I just enjoyed the feeling inside. I mean, I've never felt this way before in tennis, so I'm really happy. Whitney, you've played on some of the largest stages, venues in the world with the French Open, grandstand at the U.S. Open. Here you're at home, your backyard, your neighborhood court. How much pressure is it also here playing because they're all your friends, your family. They want you to win and you want to win for them. Yeah, I mean, obviously it's a lot of pressure, but I've had to deal with pressure almost the entire year and I've gotten used to it and I've learned how to play with it and I think I did pretty well with it all throughout this week. came into this thing ranked 90 in the world, unseated, and you win the event. You beat a kid that had beat you before, Scott Off. What were you doing today that you wish you were doing when you were injured and you missed all that valuable time? 
Well, I believe more than before. I changed my mentality and yeah, that's why I'm here today. That's why I win the event because I grew up and physically and mentally. You win the doubles without ever playing a match with your partner. You win the singles. How big is this for you? Yeah, it's out of my mind actually. It's like something out of this world. Whitney, hometown favorite here as she came through. What impresses you about her? The way she strikes the ball is one thing. Uh, another thing is that uh, she has different facets to her game so that it, if, you, if you just want to play a, a big baseline hitting game, she can stand in there with anybody. And yet, in, if, if you try and do some other things, she is perfectly capable of changing her game style. In today's final, uh, Burrell was trying a few drop shots, and they did. she did have some success with that. But in general, I would um, caution any player not to drop shot Whitney <laughs> in general because she's, she's got quick. the wheels. She's very quick, and she knows what to do with the ball at the net. Um, she's a great doubles player. She won the doubles um, easily. They strolled the doubles straw, she and Katie McNally. And so I, I think it's it's really fun to see that somebody who has the kind of pressure she's been playing as the number one uh, junior in the world now for several months. Um, and to be able to come here at, with the added pressure of your hometown, the pressure of being number one in the world, taking everyone's best shot, it was very impressive for her to, to come back in that third set today and just put an exclamation point on her junior career groups working with her since she was five and, and today she's 15 and she's number one in the world. Uh, it's a commitment you know so once the commitment uh, uh, taking it to the professional level you have to you know stay committed so I on my side I try to stay professional and uh, I'm expecting them to stay professional too. Yeah I'm obviously still developing my game to further transition into the uh, pro tournaments and stuff, but uh, I mean, I'm just gonna stay mentally strong and keep playing my game and hopefully I can build my ranking up next year. Well, I have to say I was very impressed by uh, Ron Holman who won the boys 16s. I had not uh, seen him play very much, um, if at all. I know he played Kalamazoo, but you know, I would just see him in passing, but he uh, stepped up his game considerably. He works with um, Todd Whittem down, down here in South Florida and uh, you can see that his game's really developed a very big serve. Talk about the two who were sisters from the Czech Republic. Refreshing and talented. They have been uh, one of the stories of this tournament for sure, winning the doubles together, uh, both making the finals with uh, Brenda winning the 12s, uh, they are, and being 10 and 12 years old. And so they are certainly ones that um, are now on the radar thanks to their performance here at Eddie Kerr. What's it like for you all to play doubles? Linda? Yeah, it's fun to play with my sister. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> tennis is my life, so <laughs> tennis for me is everything. Looking back, uh, what are you going to take away from the last 10 days here? Um, just, you know, it was a really good tournament. I mean, it was run really well. Um, you know, all the matches were tough. There's not too many easy matches you're going to get here, and it's just a high quality tournament that. I thought I did pretty well, and so it's nice. Uh, not the happiest of times to take a spill like that on the court. How are you feeling, and how do you handle that? Uh, I don't know. I handle it well. I tried to play, but I failed. It's okay. So <laughs> the pain is there still? It's still there. All right, well, you know there's a tomorrow, and there's going to be another great tournament and you won't sprain your ankle two tournaments in a row. You know that, don't you? Yeah, I hope not. I hope not. Uh, she is very feisty, and that she came back and played and, and uh, did so well in the doubles did not surprise me after what I saw of her on the court um, in the semis and finals. She's just uh, very positive and, and very you know, upbeat and uh, energetic, and you got to love that from anybody. See some friends who are not here at IMG. What do you tell them that they may be missing that you're getting? Oh, they're missing a lot. The grinding, we get here every day. Every day we're pushing ourselves here. Um, coaches, the infrastructure here, school, courts, everything. So if you want to, see, if you have an opportunity to come by, do it. It's going to be worth it.
You know, IMG uh, is noted for producing champions, but what most people don't know is that IMG produces kids for life, college scholarships. And this is a home for all the college uh, coaches here during this tournament to see the young talent. And our director, Rowan, along with Margie and Juan, talk to them about the young kids that are graduating. Remember, out of the 3,000 professionals on the road, only one to two percent make a living. And that's why you encourage a lot of young boys and girls to think about college for at least a couple of years before they test the waters. Perkins.com, your one-stop shop for all of your automotive needs. Log on to Perkins.com today and shop over 1,000 available new vehicles. Nissans, Chryslers, Jeeps, Dodges, Rams, and Mitsubishis. Plus, shop over 500 quality pre-owned vehicles. At Perkins.com, you can apply for financing, check out our latest specials, you can even schedule a service appointment, all from the comfort of your home. Why would you shop anywhere else? Perkins.com, log on now. We believe in families, in barbecues on Sunday afternoons, in PTA meetings and staying up late helping with homework. We believe in lifelong friends, in knowing your neighbors, in passing down traditions through generations, in having a place you want to call home. In Lakewood Ranch, we believe in community, where we love to live and laugh. This is our town. This is our common ground. Hi, I'm Danielle Collins, two-time national champion, and you're inside tennis with the cause. Tennis fans, thanks again for staying with us. This one is one of the most gratifying events on the national USTA senior men's circuit, the National Father-Son Clay Court Championships at the Landings. It clearly confirms the ongoing passion of the lifetime sport of tennis shared by a family. This is the 25th year in a row that the club has hosted it. It started many years ago with the senior division. They added the super senior. And then two years ago, this is our second year of having the ultra senior, the 80 and over. So three different divisions now. Uh, the members love it. The, the spectators that come in from outside the community love it. Well, it is not a national senior championship father-son event unless the Langs are here. Michael, good to see you back in town. Michael, what's it mean to come back to town? Your fans are still here. <laughs> Mikey Mike, they're calling from the sidelines. And team up with your dad to have great fun and be very competitive at the same time. It, it really is so much fun. I mean, uh, number one, I forget coming back how beautiful Sarasota is. So I love coming back. We drove all around Siesta Key yesterday, and then I get to spend time with Dad on the court, which we don't get to do all but, you know, once a year or so. So it's really special. We get to compete together. He hit a couple incredible shots today, and uh, I think that, that bonding is what it's all about. Nobody talks more tennis than Don Lang. How much prep talk was going into this event for the last month, Don? Well, I was really training hard. I lost some weight. Michael and I talked on the phone. I had John Jaynes helping me and uh, uh, even got advice from Bob and Mike Bryan's dad on how to play the match. Wow. Endorsed by Wayne. Little man here, Miles. So it was a father-son tournament, and I had a father-son trip also. Well, look who I found here, Miles. It was fun watching this match with you. How much fun do you have watching a tennis match? It was your grandfather and your father out there. Super fun. Super fun. And you know how to keep score and everything else, don't you? Yes. That's why. Well, thanks for spending some time with me watching this match. Good to see you growing up. And I love that red hair, man. Cool <laughs> stuff. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you. Absolutely. Very, very fun event. And the members here at the landings are unbelievable. They close the facility for the tournament. They have a big dinner for the guys. They do lunch for the guys. So the players absolutely love to come. The members are amazing. John, you were coaching this week. One of the participants in this event. Nobody's more of a tennis zealot than Don Lang. So he calls you. He gets Wayne Bryan on the phone also to do some coaching. What did you enjoy most about getting Don ready for the game? I know you didn't have to motivate his passion. 
Oh, no. Don, very passionate for the game. And he's playing with his son, Michael, who's a fantastic player. And Don and I go way back from the Laurel Oak days where you and I were working. So I've known the Langs for a long time. But it was just to keep himself composed because Don, the, en the adrenaline gets going and he gets fired up. So it's just keep him composed and keep him playing within himself. Well, it's just another, uh, it's another time to see what we can do together. Um, it's hard. We've set the bar pretty high, so there's, I, <laughs> since we've done well, so um, there comes some, some pressure with that. I can't, there's, there, there are, are expectations, and I think that sometimes is one of the harder things to deal with, just, uh, you know, knowing that, you know, you really have to be pretty successful to, to feel successful, so we try to look at it sometimes in a little different way. It's, uh, as much as we play to win, there are, there are other things also that are, that are important, and you've got to kind of enjoy the process, the idea of working hard and we're, we're working together and, uh, and, and seeing what we can do with that. No doubt about it. You do work hard at this. You do it as a team. It's a team effort to retain this championship, but it looks as if you're actually having a lot of fun in between the serious stuff. Um. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> no, I, I mean, it is fun. You know, I, I mean, we uh, we actually work to, uh, together also. You know, um, you know, my dad runs a club in Chicago, and uh, I actually help him out. So this is like like almost a occasion for us. You know, we, we, we can just, just uh, travel and uh, play and, you know, meet, you know, lots of, uh, of uh, teams that we've, um, that we've, you know, made uh, friendships with. Well, you know, the father-son event really is a, a special event. I mean, it's different. The tennis is different. Uh, it's so unbalanced. The, the father's just trying to hang on by their fingernails. The sons are out there being brilliant. And uh, so if you got a son like mine that can carry me, <laughs> then it works pretty well. But, you know, it's just a different game. You use different shot selection. And, you know, just the relationship out there is different than playing with a doubles partner. So, yeah, it's unique. Your father, Jimmy, gave you the gift of tennis. You re-gifted it. You gave it back to him. <laughs> How much fun was it to join this team as a player and be able to share this for life, Chris? Well, we started playing father-son when I was 16, <clears throat> and it was special then. It's maybe even more special now because here we are so many years later. It's the chance where we at least lived with each other yeah, back then. That's 30 years ago. That's, that's unbelievable. Wow, wow, wow. So uh, now that we are on opposite sides of the country almost, it is really special just to get together and do it. And uh, anytime we get the chance, it's, it's a lot of fun. Well, I get to play in quite a few national events with my uh, fellow aged players, but uh, not too often with Mick. In fact, this is only our second tournament. And... Uh, He's my best partner ever. It's just so great to be with him and spend the weekend with him and, and meet new friends and, and play some great tennis. Mick, what's it sound like when you hear your dad, you hear your partner say, great shot, son? It's awesome. Um, can't get enough of it. He's taught me everything about the game, so, you know, I'm always learning from him, but he's, he's been a great coach. But I enjoy it. It's a lifestyle. The... Um, the whole thing, the physical training, the nutrition, uh, the stretching, I, I enjoy it all. It makes you feel better. And then, of course, it's just um, frosting on the cake to play with your son. Um, we've, we've reversed roles by agreement. When he was nine, I was pretty good, and he was just average. Now he's really, really good, and I'm just average. So it's working out. <laughs> uh, it's... It's a great tournament for us to have, and it's an honor for us to, to host one of the four national championships in those three divisions. Stimulating indeed to see Paul Litterman and his Top Gun players in action every Saturday morning at Lakewood Ranch. Well, Paul, nothing, nothing will stop this clinic, even the Dick Vitale College Invitational. What's it like to start your Saturday with these hungry guys with a passion of the game? Well, I knew if I canceled it, I had 14 angry men at me, so I couldn't cancel no matter what. We do this for years. The same group of guys come out. Um, the goal in it is to have a great time. The camaraderie is unbelievable, and it's a great group of guys. It's a lot of cardio, and it's a great group of guys. We do a lot of running, and then we do a lot of ball hitting. So it's all about striking and having fun. Competition is good, and it's great for every age. Nice good sweat early in the morning. It keeps you running all the time, and it's, it's a good group of guys. Well, uh, if you want some cardio, this is the place to come. and. Uh, 
Uh, Paul is just a great uh, uh, leader. The best thing for me is I get to uh, work out with my son, and uh, this doesn't get uh, any better than this, and this is why we live in Ra Lakewood Ranch and love the Lakewood Ranch Country Club. And now for our Lakewood Ranch Pro Tennis Tip. Hi, I'm Paul Witterman, Director of Athletic Center Operations here at Lakewood Ranch. I want to talk to you players, uh, post-50 uh, tennis players out there today. You know, people come to me, they're 55, 60 years old, and they say, what can I do for my tennis? They start warming up and they come out and try to serve the ball at 115, 120 miles an hour, and I'm thinking, you're crazy. Um, let's work on, for you senior type players, work on that kick serve, focus more on placement, don't try to play player, uh, blow players off the court, open the court up, hit where they're not, make them move, break them down, and be ready to stay out there and be a more consistent player. Hey, 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 it's time for our Lakewood Ranch Tennis Package Giveaway Drawing, which includes three clinics with Paul Letterman's staff, plus a one-hour tennis training session with the cause. And you know that I'm looking for a national champion. Let's see who it's going to be. Mary Beth Grenier. Congratulations, we will be in touch. I can see a champion in this one. Visit the Lakewood Ranch Information Center at 6220 University Parkway or 11506 Rangeland Parkway to register for our bi-weekly drawing. And here's our Place Sarasota Magazine tennis calendar. December 16th, Laurel Oak Country Club Level 7 Junior Tournament with Ty Braswell. January 6th, Sarasota Sports Club Level 7 Junior Tournament with Sekou Bangor. January 13th, Inspiration Academy Level 7 Tournament with Ashley Hobson. Also on January 13th, plan to attend the 19th Annual USPTA Lessons for Life at the Venetian Golf and River Club in Venice. Contact Brenda Mertz at 941-586. 8080. That's 941-586-8080. Tennis fans, great to have you with us on Inside Tennis with the Cause. We love our sponsors and you will too. Stop by and see them. Until then, remember in tennis scoring, love means nothing, but love of the game means everything. Keep alive. Your love of the game, love you tennis fans, and we'll see you right here every Saturday, 12.30 on SNN. Inside Tennis with the Cons has been brought to you by Ferkins Automotive. Find it at Ferkins, and by Lakewood Ranch, named the fourth best-selling community in America, and by Nature's Right, natural products that work.